fine. Bring in the captives. I still don't understand why you thought this needed my involvement directly. You know I'm strict with my time, so this better not be a goddamn waste. If this group is anything like the last, I should have a stake put through your heart. Do you know how long it took to get that disgusting taste out of my mouth? Ugh. Not even a mosquito deserves blood of that low caliber. I know. You say there's something special this time. Please, don't keep me waiting. We have many new extortion targets to threaten and villages to terrorize. Our schedule has no time for impure blood. You there, open that door. You're lucky I have my trust in you, Capo. I know you wouldn't fail me again after last time. Now let me just have a look at this fresh blood. Hmm. No, not you. You can be disposed of. Not this one either. Ugh, that stench is repulsive. Is this some sort of joke? I'm not finding it amusing, Capo. I think you have some serious fucking explaining to do. Look in the center. You mean... Oh my. That smell. Get the rest of these heathens out of here. I think I've just found my newest plaything. Hmm. You are such a darling, aren't you? Your smell. That has to be the purest blood I've sensed in at least five centuries. Simply delightful. Brilliant call, Capo. I see now why you had to bring along all these other rejects. Blood as potent as this would have caused every vampire this side of Transylvania to flock to the area. The foul smell of that old blood protected our precious cargo. Mm -hmm. You're going to be perfect, my darling. I can almost taste you already. Delicious. This is a matter of utmost importance. Capo, tell your men that we need at least half of them back here at once. We must heighten security at the compound. If any of our rivals were to catch wind of this, there would be a full-on conflict. Dismissed. I'll take good care of you, darling. Something as precious as you deserves to have the best. Oh, my dear, we don't wish to harm you. How silly would that be? You're now our most prized possession, you know. Oh, yes, make no mistake. We own you now. In fact, more specifically, I own you now. So try and behave, hmm? I know you wouldn't want to make a bad impression right off the start. I wouldn't suggest doing anything rash. Good. I like your submissiveness. Keep it up and you'll get so much further around here. Anyway, enough of that. I suppose I should formally invite you into my compound. You are my guest now, after all. It wouldn't be polite to rush straight into business, now would it? I do apologize for your ride here. I know the whole kidnapping and transport process can be rather rough. I always tell my men to be careful with the merchandise, but often the need to be hasty in their actions can cause a bit of conflict. I hope we'll be able to make up for that whole process with the new quality of living you'll receive here. Tell me, were you seriously satisfied living in that dusty old apartment? Of course not. That old way of living stops today. 
the material is no object to us. You'll be treated as a queen if you like. So long as you comply with me, of course. Oh, that won't be very difficult at all. I just require something from you. Sips of your blood, my dear. It's so pure. I can tell. You're a virgin, aren't you? <laughs> oh, my dear, nothing to be embarrassed about. You're just perfect the way you are. A gem, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Now, follow me, darling. I have much to show you, and you have much to learn about our way of life here. Don't worry, I'll take care of you every step of the way. Oh, I see you have a small wound on your arm, my darling. My apologies. How rude of me. During all the commotion of receiving you captives, I forgot to ask if you were hurt during the whole process. I suppose that would explain your exceptionally potent smell of blood. Allow me to patch you up a bit first. We simply can't have you experiencing any ill health effects now, can we? You're much too pure. See? You'll be in good hands, my dear. I know human-vampire relations aren't exactly at an all-time high, especially these days. But we're not all bad. We only want a small portion of you every once in a while, hmm. I know all humans aren't bad either. While some may want to dispose of us with silver bullets, others seem to have a bit of a fascination with us. I found out which type you were quite promptly, my dear. Hmm, you really think I didn't notice? After the initial fear in your eyes vanquished, I saw something else. Oh, I'm not trying to imply anything. I was merely making an observation. When you reach my number of centuries old, you can't help but pick up on even the smallest change in body language. What was that look, you ask? Shouldn't you be asking yourself that question? It was your face that produced it, after all. Now please, have a seat. I can get to mending that small wound of yours. Let me see. This shouldn't take very long. Just some simple precautions. We can't be too careful when dealing with your well-being. This may sting a little. I just have to wash it out. My apologies if that caused you any discomfort, but mm, you're still bleeding, ever so slightly. I'm sorry, I just need a taste. Oh my, your taste, it's simply divine. Mm, I can hardly control. <sighs> what am I saying? My apologies, darling. I must remain composed for now. Allow me to finish wrapping up that wound of yours. There we are. You should be good as new. Just let me know if it starts bothering you again, hmm? You know, I think our little tour of the compound can wait for now. 
You must be simply exhausted after that whole ordeal you've been through. And that's no way to make a new guest feel at home. I think you could use some nice relaxation and rest. That's certainly something we can do for you, my dear. We are equipped with some rather fine amenities around here. I think that's just the sort of thing you need right now. Please, follow me. Pardon me for a second, my dear. This call might be rather urgent. Yes? Damn, how many times do I have to tell you? You can't just throw the rejects out into the woods all at once like that. You're gonna end up getting our whole operation discovered, or even worse, attract others. We need this place to go undiscovered for as long as possible. I don't care what you do, just make sure they're either far away from here or dead. <sighs> anyway, disregard that, my dear. All you need to focus on right now is relaxing. Follow me. Let me introduce you to one of our luxuries in this compound. Most residents here may be undead, but even in the coldness of death we can still enjoy the warmth of a freshwater hot spring. Of course, my dear, you're free to enjoy at any time. And right now, I insist you join me. Oh, you're such a good human, aren't you? Like I said, that sort of compliance will get you far. Now, you're welcome to change in there. I'll be waiting for you out here, my dear. It's all taken care of. Don't worry one bit. You've had such a hard day, after all. I wouldn't want to add anything to that. Let's just have a pleasant time, hmm?